Hey guys and welcome back, it's Pope John Paul here with another Rise of Mordor Battle Few and this time we have a new faction uh, released yesterday, uh, very very new and it's, as you can see it is Rohan, we did a battle with a sub mod of Rohan and now the creators have come out and brought a new bat uh, a new faction out and look at the detail on like the helmets here for like the, uh, these are Rohan, sc Rohirrim scouts. These guys look amazing. Like, all the detail. I mean, they all have very uniform armor. I'm quite surprised. Like, it's not... I mean, their shields are slightly different, but it's not, like, hodgepodge because they're, like, just... They're scouts. They're not that great. But, um, yeah, they look amazing. There's only about four units at the moment for Rohan. It's just a, a work in progress. So here we have, like... Uh, let's see. Let, what are they called again? A mustard axes. Um, so... That is, they are like just the the peasants really, with a with some mere axes and shields, and that's all they're given. They go into battle with what they have. These are mustard spears, I believe. I'm gonna check on the names because you know I'm not I'm not sure. Yeah, I was right. Mustard spears. I must. They look a little bit more well armored. They've got helmets at least. These guys don't even have helmets. I'm a bit worried for their their heads. They're gonna roll in this one. <laughs> um. But yeah, these guys, they're a bit more protected. They've got a bit of chainmail, some um, some there. And then they've got some helmets. And they've got some, the classic Rohirrim spear. That looks really, really good. And then I think that's it. I think there's only three units, actually. I was wrong. And then, yep, yeah, our general over here, who's also a Rohirrim scout. They have some... They look a bit like they have... Um, these guys look like they have javis, almost. But they're not, really. I'm just going to... Yeah, they, they don't even have, like, the same awesome spears as the... Mo like, I would have expected the um, cavalry to have these sort of spears, but they don't. They have, like, a, a shorter, stumpier spear. But anyway, we are fighting against Mordor. I decided to do this one live instead of a replay because I just thought, we'll show them off um, and we can have a battle while we do it as well. So we've got... Um, Mordor has had a redo. I know we've not seen Mordor already, so this is just new to you guys. But um, they have had a redo, so they've had some stuff added. They've got, um, and there's some units that have been here a while, so I thought I'd just show them off as well while we were here. Um, so you've got Haradrim Swordsmen here. They look very, very cool already, looking excellent. Um, and then you've got Orc Warriors, who again, uh, I think they've been in the game quite a while, same as the Haradrim. But they've had a redo a bit, their arm is different. And they look very, very cool. I like just all of them dead eyes just looking at you. It's quite scary. And then more Haradrim swords there. What have we got here? More Uruk, uh, Orc warriors. Um, and then we have Uruk archers at the front here. These are one of the two units of, of archers that they can have. So they're like, they look pretty well armored. They look a bit like goblins, to be honest. But they do look very, very cool. Um, so yeah, they're like the, the well armored stuff that the Orcs have. Um... Then what do we have over here? Orc pillagers, so just a uh, axe unit. Goes good for flanking, not for prolonged melee. So they look really, really. I like their armor. To be fair, their armor is just like. I don't know. It's just it's really basic, but just at the same time, it's just it's just enough. And then the orc throng, they have exactly the same armor as the orc archers, but they have sword and shield. These guys are going to be like the main battle line for most armies that. Um, when people fight online, I imagine if they're playing against Mordor. I really hope they add trolls. They haven't added trolls yet, but I really hope they can find a way to do it because that would be amazing to have trolls in this. So I think we've got a lot of Uruk Throng. Um, we'll come to the Uruk Spears in a minute. We've got Orc Pikes, who you don't really see pikes much in the movies, but you know, they fancy giving them some pikes um, anyway. So, and they certainly didn't have, I mean, they had sort of like had pikes when the Rohirrim charged at the um, Battle of. Middle, uh, Middle Earth. Battle of, uh, oh, what's it called? Minas Tirith. There we go. Why why can't I remember that? It's like the greatest battle in the Lord of the Rings. Um, so, yeah, these guys are uh, in it for just to give them a pike unit, I imagine. But, yeah, they are sort of in it. And then we have um, Uruk Spears. Um, have some same armor. I mean, it's it looks really good, does the armor. And I can see why the creators have just gone with same armor for all the units because... A, it's less work, and they would probably just have the same armor, and they wouldn't just be like, oh, you're a spear unit, we'll give you slightly different armor, but they look really cool. I mean, they look 
let's see. Uh, they look the same size as orcs because I would have thought orcs are the smaller of the two out of orcs, but they haven't like made orcs significantly smaller, if smaller at all. So then I think I think that's it for all the units to show you. Um, orc warriors, orc pillagers. Yeah, we've seen all of these. Um, yeah, we've seen all those. So we can get on the way with the battle. Um, balance power is not in my favour at all because, like, well, I have no range units and all my units are just like levies compared to their like proper hardened men. So we will probably die here, but you know what? I'll give you a battle while we're here. So let's just charge for. For some reason, the AI decided to bring defences. I forgot to take. Give it, um, not give it defenses. Oh, and you didn't move forward either, so you just, you join. Go like there. Uh, we still have it in the name of Rome. Oh dear. It's a shame they can't change the voices, because that would be really cool if they could. So we march forward. To victory or ruin, boys. Are the hordes of Mordor moving forward? They're moving, f moving their arches around. Oh, they're firing their arches. Okay, let's pull back quickly. Let's send the main, main battle line in. Which is not really a battle line at all. It's just some men... Um, in some, like, cloth. And they call them soldiers. Um, general, move forward. I have, like, just put all my cavalry on one flank. That was very silly of me. Oh, blood has been spilt this day. Larry, you okay? Did you take a scratch? Right, anyway. Um, you just go in there. You go in there. You go in there. Apparently I'm going to beat like all the pillagers and orc warriors, but like the orcs I have no chance against, which I can imagine. Even, I've leveled up all the uh, Rohan units as well, just to give them like a fighting chance against the orcs, because this cannot end well. Um, just... Just attack, just, just attack. We'll, um, I'll join the battle line in a minute. Just make sure everything's fighting. There we go, excellent. I'll bring the cavalry around in a bit. So let's have a quick look, see how they fight. See if they're any good. Well, that guy, that, yes, well in Larry. And they're all called Larry now. All the soldiers are called Larry, apart from uh, the king. He can be feared and but he's, he leads an army of Blarys. Oh, we're killing these. Uh, I think we're killing these Haradrim off quite easy because they are they have just got swords. They have no shield, so they can't defend themselves. But these Orc warriors are probably going to be a bit more sturdy. Going to be a bit harder. Oh, men are fleeing. Where are they fleeing? Oh, already here. Oh, Orc pillagers. Oh, excellent. Right, chase them down. Um, King, come a bit clearer, nearer. There. Let's have a look at what's going on. It's not going well over here either. We've got, um... Uh, let's see how we're doing against the uh, Uruks. Oh, poorly. So maybe those axes we're actually going to struggle against because, um... Well, they're just very good in shock. Like, initial combat, and maybe that's that's enough to break these guys. Oh, God, that guy got decapitated. I love in the um, spears that these uh, Uruks got. They're very just, like, ragged and just put together, which is just, um... Which is just just the orc army basically. Our general's under attack. Oh. What's he under attack? Oh, archers. Um, go over there. We'll we'll fight that. And the pikes. We've got no chance against the pikes. I really need range or just to flank them, but they've not quite committed them yet. Come on, men. Fight for honor. And... Rohan, I don't know. Who, what would you fight for in Middle Earth? There's not much to fight for. Oh, we're cutting these guys down, though. Orc pillagers did not stand a chance against three units of Rohirrim scouts. I think the Rohirrim are going to have the best cavalry, which is... They should. Right, charge these guys down. They're really pissing me off. Yeah, you don't like it now, do you? Now the tables have been turned. Only a couple are charging you, though. Oh, here we go. Here's the rest of us. I have a feeling the Uruk archers might still be okay in combat, though. I have a feeling. Just looking at the armor they have, they, they, they seem like they could be quite good in combat. Yeah, combat's actually even. I mean, most of the cavalry's actually in core up here. Um, and yeah, we're not going to break the general anytime soon. Oh, we've uh, we've well and truly broken them back here. Okay. 
Go in there. Wow, we broke them. Wow. I'm I'm surprised. Like really. Anyway, let's have a look. Charge in the back of these Heratrium. Excellent. Oh no! Dave! Oh no! Dave lost his head. Okay, they're not all Larry. I lied. There is a Dave. Yeah, they looks absolutely amazing. To this, uh, to this faction. I'm just the green as well. It's just the right green as well. I mean, it could be a little bit darker for maybe like the more elite troops. Oh, sorry. Um, but the light green for like the mustard men. It looks really cool. I like it. I'm a fan. Big big fan. Um, okay, we broke these guys. Can you just like charge in there? We're gonna have to. We're like fighting these pikes. It's never a good idea. Um, pull out. I th these are really quick cavalry. Wow, these are really quick cavalry. Okay, we broke everything on the right. Wow, how <laughs> how are we winning? Uh, just kill them, please. Uh, I'm not really too bothered with my cavalry die. Excellent. Just keep killing them. Who are these? Is that the unit that might have rallied? It might have been. Um, let's let's watch a charge. Let's watch a charge. For Theoden the King! Oh, okay. I can't really see him. There we go. Oh, sorry about that, guys. That was not perfect. This guy here is uh, going to die, definitely. Oh, he dodged it, though. Oh, and he got a kill. Excellent. The King would be proud. Now we're charging into the archers, it would seem. Okay, yeah, we, we've just carried on into the stuff, and that was probably not a wise move. But hey, I don't care. Yeah, we are definitely wrapping them up on this flank here. Um, yeah, you just keep chasing down those orc warriors, why not? Uh, having cavalry is certainly nullifying the archers. I didn't give them too many archers, to be fair, though. Because I didn't really like the odds as it were. But now they're fully in my favor. Here we go. I mean, it's expected. We're fighting the AI. I think even... I could have an even worse odds and I would have been okay. But it looks... Oh, okay, the pikes... Uh, oh, no, these aren't pikes. These, oh, no, they are. I don't know. Or are they? Yes, they are. They, they are very much not in pike formation, though. They are getting confused and surrounded. But, yeah, if you uh, guys are enjoying the... Uh, enjoying the video leave a like and subscribe I'm sorry I haven't uploaded anything recently there has been a uh, there have been some issues with the campaign which uh, the imperative campaign which is uh, no longer gonna be running unfortunately because the game is corrupt uh, the file is corrupted because of the new update and uh, so that is the end of it I am starting a new campaign which will soon be announced um, Hopefully you enjoy that one as much. But what, anyway, back to the battle. Men are broken. Oh, our guys are broken. Where are they breaking? Oh, our cavalry are breaking. Oh yeah, I don't care about our cavalry breaking. Oh, okay, I don't care about you guys just getting shot unnecessarily. Good. They do actually have missile capability. Interesting. And they just kind of run through them like no no one's business. Uh, okay, General's still alive. Let's just send them into the Yorick throng. And now we're surrounding the General. Excellent. So if you guys want to see more of the Rise of Mordor as well, uh, please let me know in the comments if you've got any battle recommendations that I'll do, uh, to do and I'll see what can be done. The mod is still very limited at the moment. There's not uh, many factions that are fully completed. But um, if you've got any ideas for um, battles, I will uh, be happy to do them. Uh, this mod is amazing and very, very good. I just have to get some other people to play it because the AI is not a worthy opponent. As Just on time, as I say that, victory.
I should not have won that. Anyway, we'll end the battle. And we'll show the battle uh, score the kills off quickly. So, 211 for my general. Excellent. Mustard axes who are supposed to be quite poor um, and awful, getting a lot of kills. Um, but I guess that's because they're gold chevroned. Um, and then Spears doing okay. Most of them doing, uh, half of them doing okay, half of them doing average. And then Cavalry getting a lot of kills. Um, there are Throng getting quite a lot of kills there. Orc Pillage is doing very well there. Um, Haradrim doing pretty awful. But like I said, I think because they just had a sword, they weren't as um, effective. So they quite easily like cut down. Pike's doing pretty poorly, could have done better there. And Uruk Archers, eh, doing pretty average. Um, but yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like. Um, and if you want to see more Rise of Mordor, subscribe and hit the bell. And until next time, guys, bye for now.